Welcome to Off Grid Oregon. On this channel we do semi manly stuff like making a spray paint shaker using a sawzall blade and some plumber's tape. What about a soda pop? Here's the soda. It doesn't work on soda. I'm only 883 subscribers away from a thousand, so please subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> all right let's talk about this a little bit i call this stuff plumber's tape it could be called galvanized strapping i think it's got a bunch of different names so i'm not talking about teflon tape I'm talking about this stuff um i just use normal bolts and normal nuts you know, if you wanted to get slick, you could maybe get a real good Phillips head, which I don't have, and a wing nut. So then the wing nut is going to catch you on the plumber's tape more easily. But in fact, this normal nut catches on it good enough. I used a brand new sawzall blade, which is sharp as heck. So you could definitely either turn it upside down or... Uh, grind off all the sharp teeth because that that thing will get you um, so it fits spray paint just fine the way I did it probably asking too much to be doing like you know I'm certain you couldn't do like a gallon of paint but you know maybe a quart of paint I mean I doubt it but if you did instead of cutting off the plumber's tape you know right there you could leave it extra extra long and you could put larger things in there um, who knows? There's all sorts of things you might you might want to shake. So you could make the plumber's tape so it fits something that's you know silver dollar size all the way up to who knows what. Let's find out how much room we have to play with here. Looks like that's all the way in. We don't want anything beyond that point because that will uh, hit this guard. All right, I uh, bent over a piece of plumber's tape so I can find out where the holes go. You know, pick a point wherever you want to go. Decently, you're going to want a longer blade, not a short blade. Use a punch to make a good place for the drill bit to start. Wish me luck. No problemo. Nice. Depending on my bolts, I may have to make those holes bigger. Who knows? All the holes may have to be bigger depending on the bolts. See how much plumber's tape we need here. Gotta be able to go around the can. Plus some extra. So I think that'll probably be good enough. You can cut off whatever you don't need later. All right, let's put a screw through it. Or a bolt, I mean. Yeah, this is just to test things anyways. Okay, I noticed that the plumber's tape turns out to just be the right size for the washers that I want. So, I'm just gonna make them out of this thing. If it wasn't the exact right shape, you could cut it to the right length. And so that'll just be some extra support. Doesn't cost no money. You don't have to look through a bunch of washers. Sweet. Got my washers on there. And I got my nut on there. So I'll try and get the washers on there how they should be. And I'm just going to go for it. 
So that should be a nice flat spot. Sweet. And I measured the can, it's like eight inches around. So you're gonna want at least four inches on either side here, plus some. Definitely don't cut it too short, otherwise you gotta throw it away and start over. Now let's do a quick test fit here. Let's figure out uh, what holes we want to use here. I kind of bent this thing into a similar shape that it's going to be in. And I want to be able to pull a couple holes tight around it. You know, and you might end up with a big hole or a small hole. You might have to drill something. I'm using 832s. They don't fit in a small hole, so I'm going to have to drill one of those guys. So I think if this guy is pulled tight to, I guess, that guy, then that should make the whole thing real nice and tight. So I'm going to drill out that one. Should be all right. Test it out. So I believe we're deciding on that hole and this hole. Throw on a nut there. And let's see if the can fits. It does fit. Let's see what happens if we try to tighten it with a screwdriver. Let's do this with power. That is tight, tight as heck. Um, you know, would, it would be it would be terrible if you had to get out a wrench to hold this side every time you tighten this side. But I think it kind of just holds itself. Let's try it a couple times, in and out. So it does kind of hold itself. And here, you might have to put your finger on it to start it. But after a while, that nut just kind of hits the tape. It doesn't want to go anywhere. Yeah, you could probably crush that can. That's not bad. And so I guess I will be cutting off that part there and that part there. And then we'll do the same on the front. These are pretty sharp. If I ever get the tiniest scratch at all from this, I'm gonna file it or throw tape on it or something. I think it's okay as it is. All right, let's decide where to cut it here. Remember your mark there. Don't put the can on that side of it, otherwise uh, something terrible will happen. Okay, so off camera, I put a can in there and I tried it for a while. And what happens is, I thought it was tight, but it wasn't really tight. So every time you do this, you find that there's some looseness. And so then I would just tighten it some more, and then I'd run it some more. And it would, and it would just show that there's more looseness. And after a while, this is how it wants to be. I'll probably end up just cutting those parts off. Um, but basically, just run it and tighten it, run it and tighten it, and then that makes the 
plumber's tape fit around it better. So, I'll just show you. Pretty tight now. Um, also, I noticed when I would hold it, you know, at an angle with gravity this way, the thing would start falling on down this way. And then I'd hold it this way with gravity that way, and it'd start falling down that way as it would loosen itself. Like, you know, and it's loosening itself, but also it's like it's finding where it wants to be. So you just let it find where it wants to be, and then you tighten the sucker up, and you should be good. Let's see if it'll come out now. Yes, good. And basically what it was doing is it was finding you the perfect circle that it wants and the perfect little tabs that go up like that. And so that's kind of a hard thing to guess at. Luckily, it does it for you. Sweet. Spray paint? Soda pop. Don't work with soda pop.